Today I'll be doing a quick video on the uh, 5-in-1 portable power pack. I've had this thing for about four years. Uh, it's actually a great little portable pack, you know. It has the, the two 12 volts in it. You can charge it right here. You can check the battery. It has a compressor in it so you can air up your tires. And on the back, if you look right here, it has two outlets for a uh, 400 watt and a 400 watt inverter. I mean, it's cool. A lot of people bag on the uh, battery on this thing. The battery wasn't the problem for me. It's actually the charging right here. If you keep it more than 34 hours, it'll overcharge and fry your battery. So today we're going to fix that. Um, this one actually did fry my battery, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to pull this thing apart, put in a new battery, and a new charging unit, one that uh, will float it. So it's always plugged in and always ready to go. Okay, got the thing apart. I just pulled it apart with these little screws in the back. You see them right here and there. Pulled it apart, this is the battery. Nothing wrong with this battery. It's a very common battery. This is called the Shangwei whatever. It's just a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. So what I did, I went to Amazon and I ordered this battery. It's basically the same battery. Wouldn't surprise me if it was made in the same factory. Also the Duracells that you get a battery mark, same exact size, uh, identical. So these are both 18 amp hour batteries with a 20 hour, whatever that means. It's a non-spillable sealed lead acid battery. What that means is you can flip this thing upside down and nothing will happen to it. We're going to put this new battery inside, but before we do that, we're going to add this charging unit to it. Okay, so you won't have a, the wall wart, wall wart anymore. You're going to have this one. The nice thing about these things, you can pick these up for about 20 bucks over at Walmart, is they come with this. So we're going to install this on the side right here, and that's how we're going to charge it. Okay, we got her all done. Put the new battery in. I connected it over here. I put this in, which is what was sent with the new uh, battery floater that I got. I believe it's this one. It's the battery maintainer. You see them at Walmart all the time. I use them on my boat. That's it. It's trying to charge up the old battery. We'll see how it does. But yeah, they give you this end. So I hooked up this to the negative and the positive in the new battery. Hooked all the old cables up and then pressed that thing on. Now I got to tell you, it wasn't the easiest thing to put that on. That thing was uh, quite difficult. But let's see, we're at... It says right here we're a little under 13 volts. According to this, we're at 13.2 volts. I have it hooked up to uh, both the jumper cables. Here's another thing about this, is if you do have an extra battery and you want to be able to run your inverter for a longer uh, period of time, just hook these right up to your uh, other battery. You know, whether it's a car battery, whether it's an, uh, an old battery you have at home, take it with you, hook it up, and you can, uh, you can use the inverter for a longer period of time. You can use the sockets for a longer period of time. Because what happens is, is uh, it will, both batteries will equalize out, and then you'll get a longer run time. So that's it. That's my new upgrade. It cost me about 55 bucks, and this thing should go longer than uh, another four years for me. All right, hope that helps you guys out. Hey guys, while I was finding the websites for the parts that I uh, found, I did run across this Black & Decker battery maintainer. This thing's actually pretty cool. You don't need to drill a hole and connect the ring terminals like you do on the other one. This one actually has a 12 volt plug that you can plug directly into the 12 volt outlets on the 5-in-1 power pack. So this, you can bypass their charging system and just use this thing and it'll be great. And don't forget, you can also use a solar one, like this Coleman 10 watt. This thing's $55. But yeah, if you're out 
you know, in, uh, if you're out camping or something like that, you could actually use this. Or if you want to, uh, you know, put this in your backyard, run a cable and uh, charge it, you can also do it that way. And this one also has, you see it right there, it has a 12 volt accessory as well. So again, you can plug it directly into there and it will charge the battery. It'll go straight to it. Hope this helps you guys out and we'll see you soon.